The conflict began after Link took the statue in 2004 when it suddenly appeared in a central London square. He registered the find with police and kept it in his garden for a number of years. Meanwhile, Banksy offered two pounds towards a can of petrol to set the piece on fire. Years later, the statue disappeared from Link's residence only to end up on an auction block at Sotheby's. And that's where the saga actually begins. To tell us what's going on, we have Enrico Bonadio. He is the editor of the Cambridge Handbook of Copyright and Street Art and Graffiti. Hi, Enrico. Good to have you on our show today. So, fill in the rest of the story. What's going on now? Well, now there is basically a dispute uh, on who is the legitimate owner of this um, of this artwork, the drink. On the one end, we have uh, AK-47, Mr. Link who claims that uh, he acquired the property of this artwork uh, several years ago when he found the artwork in central London in a public square. So he took it, he brought it home, and um, he stayed, uh, stayed there for more than 10 years. Um, he basically claims that he's, he has become the legitimate owner. And uh, he has a point, he has a legal point here, because uh, according to the law, uh, a way of acquiring a property is to find objects. I mean, uh, objects abandoned in the street, in the public place, are found by people, and this is a way you acquire property, according to them. But on the other hand, you, we have um, the auction house, now Sotheby, that is trying, has, has been trying to, 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 to sell this, um, this artwork by, by, um, by consulting before with the police, uh, and but Enrico, Enrico I want to cut you off there because um, Sotheby's actually halted the sale. So I wonder, what does yeah. this prove? Does this prove that there is still a controversy about the legitimate owner of this artwork? It probably uh, Sotheby now is trying to avoid uh, taking a gamble, basically, because uh, they have come to know that there is a dispute regarding the, who the legitimate owner is. And although they said that... Uh, the seller uh, has uh, given them uh, assurance, guarantees that uh, he has the legal rights to sell, they prefer to withdraw the, the, the auction. Well, I think uh, Sotheby's position would be stronger if uh, they could show that they, um, the, 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 the artwork comes with certificate, certificate of authenticity, which is usually released by Banks' organization, which is pest control. Pest Control, uh, which is the handling service for Banks' uh, studio artworks usually, well, what they do is to release the certificate of uh, um, authenticity, uh, which accompanies the, the artworks that are usually sold at uh, auctions houses. But Sotheby's didn't really clarify why they halted the sale. So we might want to dig deeper into that because what actually is going on there? I mean, does this mean that it is not authentic? Banksy, it probably doesn't mean that, but it might mean that um, Link here has a point. Yes, I mean, uh, I, I think the artwork is authentic. There are doubts. There are uh, there is a dispute as to the legit who is the legitimate owner of this artwork. I think the artwork is authentic, but uh, uh, AK forty seven, Mister Link, might, as you said, might have a point because, as I said, uh, abandoning artworks in the street. Uh, comes with these risks. Who finds the artworks becomes, uh, uh, who finds abandoned objects be becomes the legitimate owner of the such objects according to the law. Yeah, I mean, it really comes down to who owns street art, doesn't it? Does, is it the municipality? Is it the locals there? Or is it the artist or whoever finds it? So is there anything uh, certain in UK law about this? Well, uh, there is certainty about, I mean, there is, there is a, a doctrine of the, uh, regarding the abandoned uh, objects. Uh, as I said, who finds an abandoned object that becomes the, becomes the owner. This usually happens with the smaller uh, things that watch in the street uh, becomes the owner of that, uh, of that object. Here, uh, the object is quite heavy. It's, it's, it's a statue, it's a big statue that has been left by Banksy. But this is what Banksy does. This, this is what Banksy has been doing uh, for all his career. He abandons objects, he, he paints, and he also abandons a uh, sculpture in the, in the street. So um, uh, there are uncertainties in the law on uh, uh, whether the artist, in this case, the street artist, 
is capable of opposing uh, the so-called decontextualizations of 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 street art. Uh, we have witnessed in the in the last in the past years uh, these cases of removals of Banks's murals from the street and the re re relocation of such art of such murals in in galleries, in museums, in uh, in indoor environments. Well. Um, the, the law is not uh, really clear as to whether the street artist here is able to prevent that by relying, for example, on a moral right of integrity, which is mm -hmm. a right offered by corporate law. So, Enrico, do you think there is an issue? Do you think there is a, um, a problem there? Banksy, as an anonymous artist, is claiming a copyright of his works. Well, there is a problem. Because if you want to claim copyright, and for example, you want to start a legal action in the court, you need to disclose your identity, right? Because you cannot really uh, file mm -hmm. a legal action without disclosing your name. So that's why probably Banksy has not yet started the legal action in court, because he doesn't want to disclose his identity. Of course, if he does, the aura of uh, you know uh, of mystery that brings up the value of his art books will be decreased. Well, Enrico Bonadio, it was good to have you on our show today. Thank you so much for joining us.